All right, how y'all doing today? This is the goddess Giselle, the she boss, the spiritual boss with the spiritual sauce. All right, so we are on day two of the 90 day self help self check challenge. Once again, I'll be doing daily vlogs to kind of guide you along and give you um, some daily curriculum and tips to actually focus on for that day so that we can make sure we are perfecting our personal professional spiritual development during this next 90 day period okay so today is day two and the focal point today is focus all right so basically um today's challenge is focusing on or we are we are honing in on what we're actually focused on okay so today is all about focus i want you to take a few minutes clear your mind and ask yourself what are you focused on Every day you wake up and during the day until you go to sleep. Is it your dreams, goals, desires in life? Do you even have a goal or two? Um, if so, is it clear to you or is it just an idea that you don't really take seriously or just a fantasy that you assume is not realistic or that can't ever happen? Now, if your goal is clear, um, are you working on it daily to eventually achieve success within that goal? So, this is important because we um this is a part of the mindset shift that we have to really really get in our head. It's it's, it's not going to be an overnight transition, and um, even me knowing this for years is still uh it's still something that I have to constantly remind myself. All right, and that's wherever your focus goes, your focus grows. Um, if you're focused on a lot of chaos and unnecessary bullshit in your life then that will become your main priority and focus. Um, it's kind of inevitable. But a lot of times we become focused on things that we're not really trying to be focused on or that are not really in our best interest. So um, one of the things that I suggest is actually getting something specific to focus on, which is in alignment with what you are desiring to achieve, a goal, um, maybe a dream, you know, something that will um, determine what success looks like for you whether that's in business, whether that's personal, whether it's financial, whether it's physical, um, you know, whether it's mental, all of these different aspects can go into your focus driven purpose. All right. So we, I want you to understand that your mind uh, works to create your reality. So if you look around, you may say, well, how does that work? You know, how does that happen when someone who's um, always a good person, um, you know, has bad things happen to them? And a lot of times, we as the human aspect of us will look at things as good or bad um when it gets to the spiritual aspect of us which is the aspect that we really don't have much of an understanding about um we have to understand that things are not always good and bad there's just positive and negative and the idea is balance so where someone might see something as a bad situation or bad luck or something like that there may actually be a good side to it but if you only have a perspective of looking at it as a bad or negative thing then you won't understand what good could come out of that same situation somebody looking at it from a different perspective might already look at it like okay i see why this happened I see where, you know, maybe I contributed to this or I see how I could have avoided the situation had I just been paying attention or had I just been on my shit. You know what I'm saying? So you really want to take accountability and you really want to take responsibility for where your focus is going. If you have some goals and dreams and things of that nature, a lot of times it doesn't take us as long. It wouldn't take us as long to achieve them as we think we do in our head, because a lot of times we'll create obstacles and, and blockages that'll stop us from getting there um, as quickly as possible. But a lot of times if you become very focused and honed in on that same particular goal, you would be amazed at how quickly it can come to fruition for you. I'll give you a prime example. When I first wanted to start my business, I had no idea about, you know, really what to do. I didn't know how to do it. I didn't know how to go about doing it. All I all I knew or all I thought I knew was that I would have to complete five years of business um, school um, or, you know, some type of training to be able to get a certification in business or to be able to get a business license then i decided one day you know what i'm going to get serious about this so if i got to go uh, and i had already been in school for business i've taken business courses i just hadn't completed them but this particular day in 2019 i decided that i was going to get serious about my business goals and go ahead and get started well 
I started doing some research that same day, and Google is a good friend of yours if you know how to use it, utilize it correctly. And I just specifically asked Google, what do I need to do to start my business? Google then directed me to the Secretary of State website, which un, which told me exactly how to get my business registered and get my business started, um, get w- the things that I would need to have my business officially registered on record, and the process that it would take, all right? And so... Um, I, I think it, it was telling me that the total cost that day, because it was it was about it, it took me about maybe two fifty three hundred dollars total the rest of my business, but it was all in steps. It didn't happen at, at the same time, but the first step was only going to cost me one hundred twenty five dollars, um, and I had about two hundred dollars in my pocket. And I gladly hopped on the bus, went right on downtown to the Secretary of State building, registered my business. I didn't stop. I didn't think about it. I didn't think about. I didn't let the fears. I didn't let the doubts. I didn't let any of those things stopped me from going to complete my mission that day because I found out that I had just saved five years <laughs> on something that I thought was going to take me five years. It took me one day to get started. So this is what I mean about how focus, and I'm talking about laser being focused, clear view, clear insight, clear vision can help you go ahead and achieve your goals quicker. Now, mind you, I've been learning way more about business than I ever thought I would do from the get-go, but I've also been really focused on what I wanted my business to look like, how I wanted to grow my business, and eventually the goals that I'm trying to reach within my business, all right? And I can not say I've definitely been moving a lot slower than I probably could have, and I can admit that it's because I've been allowing things to be, become a focus for me that were really not good focuses. They were distractions from my primary focus, all right? So that's what focus can do for you. And if you're having an issue with easily being distracted, you may want to sit down, take some time and focus on this exercise for the day, which will help you kind of hone in on what are your goals? You know, like, do you actually know what you want? Are you willing to commit to them? Do you know what it'll take to reach them? Have you done any research? Have you done the due diligence to get there? Is it going to cost you money? Is it going to cost you a certification? Do you need a degree? Do you need training? Do you need uh, a loan? You know, do you need uh, a co-signer? You know, things like that. Whatever it is, if you don't even know what it's going to take to actually reach the goal, then I can guarantee you, you're not as focused as you think you are. If you haven't sat down and kind of like mapped out, is this a realistic goal for you or a realistic um, achievement for you, then you're not as focused as you need to be. So that's kind of what this, um, this that's kind of what today's focus is focused on. It's on focus, but it's really getting you to a position to hone in on what you need to be focused on throughout these next 90 days, Okay. The first set will be just for your first three month goals. The second set will be for your six month goals. And the third question will be about your year goals, your 12 month goals. Now, as we go further into this um, exercise, we will be referring back to what we wrote down today. So make sure that you're keeping track of all of your documentations and your exercises. Feel free to print them up. And um, they are PDF uh, editable documents. But you can definitely edit them on a computer and print them up, or you could just keep them in a file where you have all of them together. All right. So I'll be compiling these um, as the days go by and they'll be labeled for which day activity it is. So when we get ready to refer back to previous days and things that we wrote down, then you will definitely have that already ready. All right. Don't forget to do your daily journaling or scripting. It's completely up to you um, with how you want to actually do that. Even if it's one paragraph, just take, you know, two or three minutes, just write down how you feel, your thoughts for the day, uh, what you would like to see happen with your day, the kind of day you're going to have. You can write it, like I said, as a script or you can write it in a journal form, which is like just expressing your feelings, giving gratitude, um, the things you're thankful for, the things that you would like to see happen throughout the day, the attitude that you would have, like to have, the energy that you would like to um, it, it, ex, ex, express Okay, or have come off of you, your aura. You can create all those things um, and you can pretty much document how you want it to go. All right. Hold on to that um, throughout the day if you need to refer to it. Cool. And also uh, make sure you do your morning and evening um, gratitude sheets. You know what I'm saying? A couple of questions on there will just help you kind of get through the day um, and just really compartmentalize your thoughts. You know, it's one thing to have a lot of ideas, but it's another thing to get your thoughts organized to where they're really working in your favor. Right. So that's what I got for y'all today. I hope this helps. Um, 
I will not be reprinting out the morning, um, the journaling and the scripting page in the morning and evening um, writings and grat gratitude. That will be a daily um, thing that you would do. And you can just, if you decide to print them out, just reprint those pages out again for each day so that you can keep uh, track of those. I advise printing them up because there is way more power in actually writing these things out with your hand, your own pen, and definitely putting your energy and your intentions into the things that you are working to create and manifest, right? But if you don't have the option to do that, then doing it digitally, digitally works just as well, okay? But it's a little bit more powerful when you're actually having that pen to that paper and creating your own magic, okay? So I hope that helps. I'm glad that um, you all are participating and I will see you again tomorrow. As always, I speak nothing but infinite blessings in the, of abundance on your life, your wealth, your health, your community, your assistance, and your love. Until we meet again next time, I say peace. Signing off. <laughs>